Creating art has always felt like a part of me for almost the entirety of my life. And although I didn't think about it often whilst growing up, I've spent years developing my artistic style into what it is today. Hi, I'm Jen, a 26-year-old self-taught digital artist, and I run my own online art shop where I sell stickers, pins, washi tape, and other cute stationary goods with my own artwork on them. My current art style can be defined as colorful, bright, and playful, and my illustrations typically include, but are certainly not limited to, cute animals, fruits with faces, plants, flowers, and food. And I typically work digitally using Procreate to create all of my artwork. Today, I wanna to share a bit about my experience with finding my art style and the journey I took to get to where I am now. To start, and for reference, here are some of my most recent digital artwork. These are some of my designs that I made at the beginning of this year in February for my Valentine's Day shop update. In March, I co-hosted a month-long drawing prompt list challenge, and here are my entries for that. This one is actually one of my favorites from that time. And from April till now, here are some art pieces from various shop update designs, digital wallpapers, Notion banners, and personal projects. But my art hasn't always looked like this. Take my profile picture, for instance. This is what the first version looked like compared to the most recent version and the evolution to get there. The elements have remained relatively the same, but you can see that my skills and styles here have really developed into something that I really love and can call my own. My art journey started many years though, as a kid, but I started to take art more seriously just two years ago when I felt completely lost, stressed, and exhausted from my job. I made the decision to return to my one true passion of creating and making art and so I began to teach myself how to draw digitally. I chose digital art because I didn't really have any traditional medias to work with at that time, but I did already have an iPad that I used during college. So I started to draw and learn the basics of Procreate. I started posting my art online in October, 2021, as October is a huge month for prompt list challenges. And that year I participated in Cheektober and my favorite entries for the prompts were Harmless Spider, Fancy Pot, Campfire, Banana Dog, Pumpkin Carving, and Breakfast Friends. This particular illustration of the Breakfast Friends prompt was one that I remember making so vividly because I felt so proud with the results. I just loved how it looked and I loved the concept. So about a year later, I actually recreated the artwork and made it into a sticker sheet. In October, 2022, I participated in another month long art challenge. That year, I decided to follow the prompts for Peachtober. And here are my favorite entries from that time. We have robot, lantern, lava, spaceship, and cave. At this point in my art journey, I was beginning to feel more confident and secure in my arts and capabilities. I think it was because I chose to be very consistent from the very beginning. When I first started, I decided to draw every day for a year, and I posted my work online to my Instagram every weekday to help keep myself accountable. It was quite a bit of work, but I was determined to improve and get better with my art. Now I'm often asked where I learned how to draw and it's always a question that I'm not sure how to answer. I didn't go to any art school and I didn't take any proper art classes. I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Systems Engineering, which is nothing art related at all, but art was always what I was truly interested in and passionate about. So I taught myself as much as I could. I mainly learned through online sources such as YouTube videos or guides. I also learned by reading about the processes of other artists, again through YouTube videos or through books. I was just super eager to learn as much as possible and I'm still learning to this day. I think there is so much out there and I understand that it can be overwhelming, but I just start with one aspect of my art that I would like to improve and once I feel more confidence in that area, I can move on to the next thing and slowly over time build up my skills and my, develop my art. 
After Peachtober, I was feeling inspired by my progress. So in November of 2022, I decided to recreate my old art to see how much my art had changed. I decided to redesign all of my stickers that I had in my shop and here are some of them side by side. In my older art, I used to like to add texture with lots of lines and I also love to use the dry ink brush and procreate with the line work and for coloring. In my reworked art or my newer art, I started to add sparkles to the eyes of my characters and these highlight lines. I also changed the brushes I used now I primarily use the monoline and studio pen brushes for line work and coloring. To me, my current art seems smoother and more polished and it's what I'm really enjoying right now. Seeing my art progress always excites and motivates me to keep going. And I'm proud of myself for sticking to this journey and for the effort that I've invested. Sometimes I feel so surprised to see my art side by side. Sometimes it feels like a different person created it. Every year since I've been sharing my art online, I've also participated in the hashtag art versus artist. This is the one from 2021 and here is my second from 2022. And I'm really looking forward to making one towards the end of this year so I can see again how my art compares to my older work. But for now, I can compare and see my progress through the Breakfast Buddies prompt from Peachtober. From the original illustration back in 2021, to the sticker sheet design in 2022, and finally the redrawn sticker sheet of 2023. Now, if you're new to making art or are looking to improve your skills, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed by seeing my progress or hearing about my journey. When I started and decided to pursue a career in art, I was fortunate enough to be able to focus on it full time. I wasn't working another job on the side because making art became my full time job. I know that not everyone has this type of opportunity, so you shouldn't compare yourself to me or anyone else for that matter. I think that if making art is what you want to do, no matter whether it's a career option or just a hobby, that you should follow your own path because this is where you will find your personal style and find what type of art you really love to create. If you would like more tips or advice on finding your art style, I actually made a whole video about it. So if you're interested in it or haven't seen it, I'll leave it a link down below. But anyways, for now though, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving me a like. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Additionally, don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.